hello friends this is Manas Tripathi here uh, currently I have a peculiar problem uh, I have installed a VM machine and uh, that's not booting up as you can see <coughs> uh, it's not uh, booting up it's saying me that the file not found so I'll try to troubleshoot and see what we can do uh, from here uh, see uh, here you have fail safe option you have the main um, uh, <coughs> main boot option OS option so what I'll do is I'll uh, what I can do is uh, I can uh, do uh, you know uh, do E to edit and then come here you can see that uh, the init ID the highlighted uh, line uh, which specify the init ID uh, it, it uh, doesn't have a full path so so what I'll do is I'll edit it and then I'll do a, do the reboot and then we'll see how it goes now you can see that it is uh, uh, now correct uh, the default spelling is correct and uh, we can uh, press B button which will boot the machine with the following path and you can see uh, we'll see like if it goes through you see yes it can uh, now go through uh, the booting procedures uh, but uh, this is not a permanent solution you know uh, Now the server comes up, what I'll do is I'll do a login. So you can see the server has been <coughs> booted up successfully. What I'll do is I'll go to the boot prompt and you can see <coughs> there is a file here. Uh, if you go to boot grub then you know uh, here you have it will have something called main.lst you can do the cat here you can see that you have a problem with this line so next time you boot it would uh, be stuck in the uh, same location where it was stuck so we can what we can do is we can uh, again uh, do that uh, do a reboot and see you know, how it behaves As I have said to you that uh, it is the same issue if so in that uh, uh, file not found. So what we can do is uh, like we are, stu we are stuck in the same position because we didn't do a permanent entry into that. So uh, like there is another way to do it uh, you know like uh, here I can find out that uh, the file name is not uh, not uh, for um, right uh, but I uh, think that uh, you have some problem where uh, you would like to find out what would be the file uh, file name in it any file name or kernel file name uh, if there are multiple kernel or any daddy images available in uh, in your system so uh, we'll do that way So let's uh, do a C for command line here in the grub, grub prompt and uh, here uh, 
uh, what we can do is uh, we can find what you know what is our you know uh, our root location. So what you can do is uh, find the stage one location that is uh, find boot grab uh, stage one and it's showing that that is D zero one. So what uh, we'll do is we'll set the uh, root to it and then uh, we'll see uh, what next step to do. Uh, find out what the exact uh, unit ID image name is. Okay, and we'll set uh, manually uh, to that uh, manually uh, the unit ID image uh, uh, location and then we'll boot the machine. Now what I can do is I can set the root that is that is this D zero comma one. Yep. Now the root has been set. What I uh, can do is we can set the kernel that should be is D zero comma one. You can root and uh, so now you can see uh, what other kernel images uh, available here okay and that you can choose the kernel image you want to so I have one kernel image available so let me choose that okay and our uh, root is div is the zero comma one that means is the see now the root has been set and what we we'll do is we'll have to set the other I need to add the image so what I'll do is I'll do a unit rd then the unit rd should be as d zero now one you can boot and add three now the unit rd is also set so what we can do is we can do a boot and now we will see how it behaves ok you can see now the system is back but we still have the problem uh, like uh, we still have that uh, you know that uh, e, e that uh, uh, t missing over there so we'll try our method to uh, like we can directly edit that that's possible uh, otherwise we we'll, uh, try to reinstall the grub and see if that has any effect okay so what I'll do is uh, not do uh, yacht to um, boot loader mm -hmm. to boot loader here I'll go edit I'll go and change here but what I'll do is I'll do come here go to boot go the right image the right image here so we have set our initial RAM disk all is okay all is okay now we can see the changes now so we'll do a reboot and see how things fare now 
it's a come up automatically you can see uh, the color has come up uh, after the changes automatically so thanks for watching this video bye bye